Welcome to Milo's Mods, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give you a brief tutorial, I guess you want to call it. This, of course, is a Nexus Pro. It's already laid out on the table. This one was previously modified by myself. Some people are, I guess they're kind of scared or I'm not sure what the deal is. So this is to put your fears at rest. This is the easiest system in the world to work on, literally. This is a lock up here. This lock prevents you from double feeding. You want to leave that lock in unless you're an experienced player. Because if you remove that lock, you'll double feed darts into the chamber. Of course, this is brass. We all know that. In order to install a brass barrel, what you do first is you pull this screw out right here. The stock barrel will now come out here and here. You take the brass. I got one right here. You wrap one end in electrical tape. I can't tell you exactly how many layers to use because every brand of electrical tape is different. Some of them are thicker than others. What you want to do is you want to wrap it until you get a nice fit to where it pressure fits into the, that sleeve. When it pressure fits into the sleeve, what you do is you wrap a couple layers of Teflon tape around it to get a good seal. Then you put another couple layers of electrical tape around it, as you can see. All the way up to here, what you do is that you add some more electrical tape here. See if I can climb this back a little bit, which it's not going to let me do at the moment because I've got it locked in a safety position. What you do is you wrap some electrical tape here before you slide this piece over. The reason being is so that way you center the barrel. Because if you don't center the barrel on a 200 FPS blaster, you're going to have problems. Trust me, you will have a lot of problems. Slide the barrel back in. Okay. Put this one screw back in here. That part is done. This is a skinny pusher. This one here was from Kenny Fogelman. One of the original ones that came out. However... Drac also sells skinny pushers on his website. They're four bucks a piece. In order to install a skinny pusher, I've actually got a piece here from another Nexus. You take the O-rings, you replace the O-rings. There's a pin right there. You're going to have to take a, a punch and beat that pin out. It's gnarled a little bit in the middle. When you beat it through, you can pull it out at the other end. Not a problem. You slide it in. Done. To install it in here, you can go through the back of the plunger tube, which I recommend. That's the easiest way to do it. You slide it in, not a problem, then you're done. Okay? Yeah. This is the catch, not a problem here. This is actually the easiest catch in the world right there. Of course, this is the trigger, trigger lock. You want to leave this lock installed as well. And all this as is set. It's not hard to do. It's not rocket science. Don't be scared of it. Please, God, do not be scared of it. This is the easiest blaster in the world to modify. It does not take long to do it. Let's see if I can get you a better look. Excuse me, this is my flashlight, obviously. So, But you see how, how it is, how it fits perfectly in there. If you look, you can see the O-rings right here. See the O-rings? It's not bad. You know, it's really simple. It's, this is the easiest blaster in the world to modify. The internals are so simple, it's positively brilliant. You know, they say, keep it simple, stupid. That's it. You can't get no more difficult than that. You can't get no more easier than this. This is the easiest one in the world to work on. Nobody needs to be scared of this blaster at all. I know some people, and I've seen in certain groups, I'm not going to say which ones, I'm not going to chastise anybody, they're scared to work on this thing, and I don't understand why. It's the easiest blaster in the world to work on. For me, the first blaster I ever worked on, believe it or not, was a Caliburn, for Pete's sakes. The reason being is, I bought it, and I blew out the magazine back on my Caliburn. I personally had to replace it. You know, I ordered the part, I replaced it. Zip, bam, boom, done. Then again, I've also modified the rest of my caliber as well by then. Back here, this is the 
the plunger rod. Behind is the plunger head. You don't need to touch any of this in here. You just need to deal with this part here to install the skinny pusher and this part here. It's not hard. I'll give you listings to this part, this part, and I will give you listings to the tuning cap. This is not a tuning cap from Out of Darts, as you can tell. This one was actually done before Out of Darts made their tuning caps. This is how old this this modification was done, how long ago it was done before Out of Darts made the tuning caps. It's not hard to do. When you get up here, you know, the problem that you're going to have is that you're going to have about four inches of brass sticking out. You know, obviously, as you could tell, which is not a big deal. The way that you cover that, because you're going to want to, this is worker barrel material. Inner smooth barrel material. It's black. You know, you just cut it to length with a saw. You install it in there like that. You're done. It's not hard. You know, don't be scared of something like this. You... You're not going to screw it up. You're not going to break it. Just take your time. Please, God, take your time. All these parts in here, 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 leave them intact. Okay? They're not anything to, they're not something you want to take apart. They're not something you have to remove at all. Okay, this screw here, this screw here, leave them in there. This is the mag, mag, uh, mag release. You can leave that intact. Trigger and trigger spring, you can leave that intact even. The spring back here, leave it intact. There's two little clips here and here. As soon as you take all the screws out, you're going to have to work these two clips free. They're very easy to do. Every time I do it, I just use the flathead screwdriver. Done. Okay. When the first thing you do is, before you open up this blaster, you unscrew the cap back here, pop it out, the spring will come out. You know, this this is actually a spring to a Jet Blaster Model S. It gives it a little bit better performance and a smoother prime. You know, and it gives you a touch more FPS than what it should be. It's not hard. You know, there's no need to be scared of it, not in any way, shape, or form, you know? I, I mean, again, look at this. This is the simplest design in the world. This is a lock that allows you to, that prevents you from double feeding. Same thing back here. You know, it's, it's not hard. It is very easy to touch. Very easy to work on. You know, the hardest modification that you'll have to deal with is installing this. This is the skinny pusher. It, it allows you to gravity drop your magazine. So that way you don't have to prime the blaster back to eject the mag. It's basically just an extra safety feature. It's also a very cool effect to have. Again, th th these are four bucks from Drac. You know, as you can see, it even has the little vampire logo on it. You know, so you know it came from Drac. Drac actually, when he prints something, he does something with quality. He doesn't skimp or anything like that. He doesn't use cheap material. He uses very good material. And again, for four bucks, you can't beat it. You know, it's not hard. It is, this is really the easiest blaster in the world to work on. I mean, every blat, every springer is set up pretty much the same way. Plunger tube, plunger rod, plunger head, catch, trigger, priming bar, it, it's it's so easy. This thing is simple. You guys should have no problems dealing with this. I mean, if you really have problems dealing with this, then I seriously don't know what to tell you. I mean, like I said, you take the screw out to start the barrel modification. Once you do, the stock barrel will fall out. This is actually a stock barrel from one of them, as you can tell. You know, I mean... I brass this one because I like maximum FPS, maximum penetration. you got to have good penetration when you use these blasters, in my opinion. It's the only way to fly. You know, but it's, it's not hard to do. It's not rocket science. I mean, 
you see what it looks like. I mean, seriously, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, and this blaster shoots very consistently. It shoots well over 200 FPS. This one actually was chronoed at 220 when I had the barrel fully waxed and everything like that. Before I shoot this blaster again this summer, I'm going to re-wax the barrel a couple times anyway. It's good to do that. If you need to know how to wax a barrel, you could go talk to Chris Cotea. He's the expert at it. He taught me how to do it. Like I said, this is very, very, very easy to do. The simplest blaster in the world. Don't be scared about it. Please, God, don't be scared. You know, you're going to have to get your feet wet eventually. And this blaster right here, I'll tell you, is the perfect blaster to get your feet wet on. This is Milo's Mods signing off. I'll, I'll put links to everything in the description.